Hey guys, today I'm showing you how to paint the squirrel in watercolor. At first I'm putting down a bit of washi tape to get some very clean borders and then I'm laying down a lot of water on my paper and I'm beginning with the background and I'm just adding some orange and red tones and I'm trying to get a bit of a texture in the background here. On top you already see my reference picture for the squirrel for later. I'm putting down a bit of red and trying to mix it in with those orange and yellow tones. And I wanted just to make the background a bit interesting and that's why I added a bit more color to the edges here and once it was half dry I added a bit of water and then I got this effect. So now I'm starting with the squirrel. <laughs> it's kind of hard to explain what I did here but you can see it. At first I did its butt and foot and then the hands and now I'm starting with the fluffy tail and the tail is kind of like I do a uh, paint grass. I already have a tutorial on how to paint grass. I will link that in the iCards. I'm just basically adding more and more lines. And then I started to add a bit of details to the body. Don't worry, it will get ahead eventually. So <laughs> I just started with the body and yeah, that making the tail more detailed and fluffy. And now finally there's a head. <laughs> and uh, I just made two uh, circles and connected them. And now I'm painting the ears. And then I used some Chinese white. You could also use white gouache. I wouldn't really recommend white acrylic paint this time because you can't re-wet it later and therefore it's a bit harder to use. So then I made the squirrel a bit darker, added some shadows and I will link the reference picture down below so you can look at that one as well and kind of make it the way you want it to be but I basically did some lines. I looked at the picture where there was some lighter parts on the squirrel and darker parts and I didn't completely copy those so don't worry about it, making it perfect. It's a painting after all so it doesn't have to look like a photo. We are not attempting realism in this video so don't worry about it too much. Now I gave it a an eye, a nose and added some details to the ear. And now I'm already doing a bit of more shadow on the body. And then I went back on the eye and made it a bit darker because I thought that it would pop a little bit more. And adding more shadows here, I just did those fine lines to make it look a bit like fur. You could either make it a bit smoother or like I did here, get some texture on the squirrel. <laughs> and yeah, it's kind of hard to explain. But if you have the reference picture, just look at it where there are lighter parts and darker parts. And try to copy them just a little bit. The sun was coming kind of from the from behind or on top of the squirrel, and therefore the shadows shadows are more on the bottom, and the lighter tones are more on the top. I also added a bit more splatters to the background, and now I thought that it would. Be, it would look better if it was a little bit lighter and have those lighter parts in it and therefore I would just put a little bit of water on the painting and with a tissue I kind of lifted up a lot of the paint and then I 
smoothed that out with a brush and some water and therefore I got these lighter bits on the back and also on the butt area <laughs> and you can leave that out if you're already happy with how it looks just skip that part but just know that this is an option you can kind of lift your colors if you think that it's a bit too dark in an area And now I'm already adding those leaves in the background. I know this tutorial is maybe a bit fast and I was thinking about whether I should upload it or not because it's not that easy and maybe not the first thing that I'd recommend for a beginner to paint. But it's a tutorial nonetheless and Maybe you can learn something and uh, maybe get some inspiration. And yeah, I just want to encourage you to try out things, even if they seem to be a bit harder. Just don't get discouraged by that. Just try out things. And if you don't like it, just try again or do something else. It's not that big of a deal. So that's why I still uploaded it, even though it might not be that easy but maybe you can tell how I did it just by looking at the footage even though it's kind of hard to explain. Maybe I'm gonna do a more step-by-step -step, slower tutorial on how to paint animals but I was just experimenting a little bit with this one and that's why it turned out the way it did. By the way, I also gave it a knot in the end because I thought that the squirrel looked so sad without a knot. <laughs> and then I added a bit of border to it. I don't know if I like that, but I think it pulls everything a bit together. And that's the finished piece. I really hope that you liked this video and gained some inspiration for things to draw. And if you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.